What's going on there, Throttle Lockers? Welcome to another video of Kickstand with a plan. Now, before I get started with my videos, of course, if you like them, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe down below. And don't forget, hit that little guardian bell down there to keep you protected from missing out on the new videos that are about to come up. Now, today I'm going to help you plan to coming into the biker community of not letting your pride get you into a situation you can't do. And what I mean by this is don't say you can do something when you know you can't or you're not sure if you really can. Because there are going to be guys like me who are going to challenge you and say, okay, I want to see you do it. Alright? There's a lot of people like that in the biker community. And now this is a, a little story that happened a few years ago with a group of guys that we uh, that I rode with that we all got together and just got on for rides. We had this one guy who was a friend of a friend that came in and he was kind of a mm, weird dude. I mean, a little weird. But I was like, you know what? It's not my place to really judge him, so he can ride with us. And he rode okay, so I was cool with it. It was just a little strange, you know? And, uh, well, one day we got the bright idea in the middle of winter. Let's go for a candy ass style ride. Yeah, we, we really made a bad choice on that. It was 15 degrees out, all right? We're not only leathered up, we got layers and layers on us, okay? And we're still freezing. Now, where I'm going with this video is that you don't want to say something that you can't get that you can't get out of, all right? This guy did that, all right? So on this day that we go on this candy ass style ride, he brought his old lady, which not a big deal, wasn't a big deal at all, but there was two things wrong with this. One, he wrote a chopper that had no pad for her. She sat on the fender. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, well, that, that's not that, not that different. A 15 degree cold fender on a, on an ass is pretty damn cold. Especially, and here's number two, what she was wearing. She wore flip flops for some fucking reason. No idea why. Cut up jeans. A fucking tank top with a freaking um, hoodie. Oh, and a little bandana deal to, little bandana warmth deal to keep your ears warm. I'll let you guys ponder on how stupid that was. Now, the way they two, these two acted together, they were meant to be, all right? They were, that's the way they were supposed to be. Well, so here's what happened with this old boy. We go out riding, we go for a good, 50 miles to the buddy, a buddy's house down uh, that rode with us. He happened to stay the night in someone else's house, and we rode all the way over there. When we get there, his wife just got done bringing in some groceries and stuff like that, right? Well, this old boy thought he was going to be cool, all right? He thought he was going to try to fit in with us and all, and it, we really didn't care about what you could do or anything like that as long as you were just a cool guy. I mean, if you had talents, cool, but we really didn't need you to go out of your way to prove it, you know what I mean? Well, this guy made the mistake. He sat there and said, I can do the dairy challenge. I can drink a whole gallon of milk and feel fine. <laughs> okay, I want to see this. I want to see if you could do this. So, of course, uh, his wife bought a new gallon of milk. We all chipped in a couple bucks just to pay for the milk, so then go get another one. We bring it out, and it's like, here you go. Start drinking. Now he gets about that far down the, the gallon of milk and he's just like, oh man, I can't, I can't do it and all. And while we're watching him, we're all drinking beers, all tall boys and stuff like that. Well, it, here's the funniest part of this, all right? He was sitting there and we're like, come on, man, you got to do it, you got to do it. You said you could do it, come on, you got to keep pushing. Well, he's like, no, man, I really can't do it, I can't do it. I'm like, no, 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 I just can't. So his old lady, I kid you not. Takes her tall boy, freshly open tall boy of uh, Bud Light, chugs the same thing, then grabs the gallon of milk and finishes it off. I mean, every bit of it. Where the hell she put it, I have no idea. But, what was wrong with that whole scenario? That's right, alcohol and dairy do not mix. Especially when you chug a beer, you got all that foam you just put in your stomach. <laughs> so, now she is hurting back of course we're giving the guy crap because we're like <laughs> your old lady showed you up man that's that's sad all this and that and well <laughs> here's where it gets even better all right 
I'm at the back of the pack on our way home, all right? We're riding down the road and everything, and she just couldn't hold it anymore. She fucking taps him on the shoulder and just leans over. Blah! I happen to see her start to lean. I swerved the hell out of the way, all right? I was not getting hit with any milk curds, all right? So I move over. We all pull over. She jumps off the bike just throwing up after leaving a freaking damn near like a burnout line of puke down the road. <laughs> She's out there, oh my God, she's just letting it all out and everything, and he looks at her and he goes, will not you stop being a pussy and get back on the bike and hold it down? Well, we're like, dude, how are you gonna talk shit? She showed you up, <laughs> all right? That, that, needless to say, after that day, we really didn't hang out with that guy anymore because it was just like, you know, for one, don't try to overdo yourself. You ain't gotta try to prove that you're a badass. Two, don't sit there and, uh, dog your old lady for her showing you up and three you shouldn't be mean to your old lady as it is because your old lady you like getting a little every now and then you're gonna want to be a little a little more nicer you know just heads up of experience of being married and all but um all right well that's really all i gotta say about that i hope you guys enjoyed that video and yes please remember do not let your mouth write a check that your ass can't catch all right so that's all i gotta say for this video i'll see you guys next time but before i go you guys gotta remember this Always keep those throttles locked, those tires hot, but never forget to keep that rubber down. I'll catch y'all next time.